Good morning. We're so excited to be here. First of all, we love December because December brings us so much celebrating um, all the good things of life. And on that note, I get to bring something to you that makes me so happy about life, and that's this woman. Her name is Deborah Sophia Magdalene. Uh, she's a member of my team over in the UK. She does amazing work in all areas, not just in sharing the oils. Um, she has a lot of gifts. And when she was sharing with me the other day about an experience she had, I knew immediately that I wanted it recorded. So Deborah, thank you for coming today and thank you for everything you've done to prepare to share with us some of our frankincense love. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna turn it over to you. You, know, you wanna tell us about what happened and yeah, sure. Well, thank you, Natalie, for uh, inviting me to be on this um, recording with you. I really wanted to share this because uh, I've been involved now with doTERRA for three and a half years. And the, my first experience of doTERRA was actually meeting you and Dawn at the yoga show in Manchester. And it really was. Uh, one drop of peppermint changed my life. And so I just want to really say thank you for bringing me on this journey. Um, what I'm going to do, ways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen because I've got a presentation that I'd like to uh, to share with you today. Um, and and I want to really talk about raising your vibration with essential oils because we can use them not just for physical and emotional purposes, but also for spiritual purposes. And one of my missions is to help people to wake up and realize that they are spiritual beings having a human experience and not vice versa. <laughs> and raising our vibration can help us to do this, but also to make changes around the people all around us as well. So I want to talk to you first of all about what are essential oils so you have an understanding of that so what they are they, they're a complex mixture of highly volatile aromatic compounds that are produced by plants it's the natural defense system of the plant but on another level it's actually the soul of the plant now in doTERRA we have a wellness pyramid and it starts with eating right exercising, resting and managing stress, reducing toxic load on the body, having informed self-care with our medical professions and working on a proactive basis. And I've added two more into this. The, the importance of grounding, I cannot stress enough because so many people have experiences which mean that, um, that take them out of the body and they never actually come back into the body if they've experienced trauma. And you get a lot of people on the spiritual path that are so ungrounded, it's not true. Um, and it's like they're avoiding life, they just want to be meditating all day. But we have to be in our bodies and we've got some great oils for grounding. And at the top here, above the proactive medical care, I put spiritual care because we owe it to ourselves to make um, choices that are going to support our personal and spiritual development. And when you understand energy frequencies, you can actually make lifestyle choices based on these frequencies. I love this so much, so much, so much. <laughs> now, everybody's heard of Albert Einstein, right? And he says that everything is energy. So we're not talking here about woo-woo stuff, right? This is physics. So Albert Einstein says everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. When you match the frequency of the reality that you want, you cannot help but get that reality. Okay, it's not possible to be any other way. It, and it's not philosophy, it's physics. And this links into the law of attraction because when you raise your own vibrational frequency, you become like a magnet and you can magnetize what it is that, that's actually in your energy field. And this is the importance of it because if you're on a low vibration, you will attract something of a light vibration. And this is why it's really important, just as an aside, that if ever you go through a relationship breakup and you're going through grief, that you don't go into another relationship straight away, otherwise you'll match someone on that frequency. I knew when my marriage broke up, I needed to raise my own frequency first before I was even ready for another relationship. So this is just helping to put it into context. Now, everything has an aura, and it's like an energy field that surrounds all living creatures. 
And in the aura, we've got uh, different colours which surround the body. And each colour signifies a certain vibration. And that reflects a different state of consciousness. And so when we actually um, look at the colours of the aura, it gives us information about emotions, thoughts, abilities, and the vital energy of the person. It's good, eh? <laughs> I, I love it so much. <laughs> it's, and it's, keep going. I know what you're going to yeah. say. You just keep going. <laughs> you know, I, I just love this stuff because, like, you know, if we look at everything being vibrational frequency, essential oils can help us to change our vibrational frequency. Now, to give you some um, idea of vibrational frequencies, everything is um, either vibrating quickly, which is a higher vibration, or when it's vibrating um, slowly, it's a lower vibration. So generally, a healthy body is vibrating at 62 to 78 megahertz. When you get colds or flu, it lowers your vibration to 57 to 60 megahertz. Cancer comes down even more to 42. And when you're going through the death process, um, you know, and you're in those last days, it comes down to 25. And obviously when you pass away, you, it's zero. So you know what I love, Deborah, is that um, even when you have a cold, you can definitely feel the difference in the vibrational. I mean, you're just sluggish, you're slower, you just want to sit, yeah. you know, you, you can feel the difference in the energy. You can. And, um, and it's important that when we are feeling lowering vibration, that we have foods that will support us. Because if you look at the next section here on food, fresh food, is uh, between 20 and 27 megahertz but dried food is less 15 to 22 megahertz so when you're looking at herbs and things like that you know pulses those are dried but when you look at processed or canned food look at that it's dead there's no vibrational frequency to that whatsoever and the same applies if you put fresh food into a microwave oven it completely kills every single nutritional value that that food once had so there's no point microwaving your food you've got to think what is the point of eating now essential oils have the highest frequency of any natural substance on the planet and therefore they change your vibration and Carillion photography can be used to show these changes so on the right hand side here this is a bottle of frankincense so frankincense is uh, vibrating at 147 megahertz and rose essential oil is the highest vibration at 320 megahertz. It's, it's, this is the frequency of unconditional love. Mm. Now, I went to the monastery in Manchester, and I had a doTERRA stand there, and there was a man next to me who was doing Carillion photography. And I've always wanted to have mine done. And so I booked a session within the last session of the day, and I deliberately stayed away from using oils myself although I was around them and that does affect your frequency. Uh, I wanted a control photograph taken. And so I booked a session with him and this was my control photo, which is like green, uh, you know, around the top and we've got yellow here around the shoulders. And um, I said to him, I want to do three photographs. The first one is a control photograph. The second one, I want to use a drop of frankincense. And then I want to um, do one with a bit of rose essential oil and just see what happens because I was really intrigued. And so the second photo is this one here, a drop of frankincense. So you can see how the green here has changed to the yellowy golden color. And I've got some green uh, to either side of my head. And then, and, and literally this was taken within a minute of the first photograph. And then I got a, just a tiny bit of rose essential oil and inhaled it, just deeply like this, just put it through my aura, and then all the green disappeared, and then it went to this golden color, which was That's really so interesting. So and, phenomenal. I know, and the man was actually a scientist, and he said to me, he said, this is so interesting to see this. He said, you know, I've heard about oils changing your frequency he said but this is the first time that i've actually photographed it to see how it's actually supporting you um in in the work that you're doing so i just love this and just to like drill down a little bit further i've not done the whole of the report but i've just done a couple of um results for you 
So this was the results from my heart chakra. And the control photo, which was green yellow, was all about compassion and idealism, mixed in the sense of fun, uh, serious goals and ideals, natural compassion towards all humanity. Yet you wish to enjoy yourself while you work <laughs> just because you're serious <laughs> about accomplishing something. Doesn't mean to say you have to live your life seriously. So you're fun to, <laughs> you're fun to be around and you're, you inspire others with your happy, hopeful attitude. And then if we compare that now to the one where I've got the frankincense, the rose was the same, by the way, uh, and it led to gold. It says, prosperity is yours now just for the asking. And that's like the law of attraction immediately being put into action. And look at this. Look, abundance and joy surround you. You inspire others with your warm, optimistic and happy attitude. Your goodwill towards everyone you encounter triggers a chain reaction of love acceptance and friendship your whole being radiates like sunshine and others look up to you to lift their spirits and you know and and this is what we want everybody to be able to do because when we actually radiate love and our whole being radiates like sunshine and we're lifting the spirits of those around us how awesome would that be if everybody was in that state what a different world we'd live in huh? oh oh yeah if, uh, yeah, I just want to put more frankincense and rose on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I put some on before with this uh, restart. Me too, but it's like... Uh, oh, I know. So going to the throat chakra, the control photo was around joy and happiness surrounding me now. Um, your excitement is contagious. Life is your playground and you make everything fun. Even the most tedious of household tasks become a game when you do them because you infuse everything with a sense of fun. At heart, you're a happy, laughing child, and you have bright, curious intellect, hungry for new ideas. Okay, and, but then when we look at the frankincense, which is the golden orange, it's like the joy and creativity or what you wish to focus on at this point in time. Friendship, socializing, having fun, and being yourself are present goals most important to you now. You make your work and chores a pleasure and strive to enjoy every moment. You have a great sense of humor and laugh easily. Your life is a fun, creative project. Hallelujah, it absolutely is. <laughs> and, and, you know, like frankincense is one of those oils, and it's called the king of oils. Uh, and it's, it's like one of these oils. I mean, if it's good enough for baby Jesus, it's good enough for all of us. And, you know, we can use it for just so, so many things. You know, we have to be compliant uh, due to FDA regulations. So we're not allowed to say what frankincense um, does uh, in certain terms. So what we can say is that you can use it to clean and smooth minor cuts and scrapes. And when you use it with a carrier oil, you know, you can use it on your skin. It's great for reducing the appearance of wrinkles and things like that. Really good for the skin. You can use it on the bottoms of the feet or use internally. I like to use them in veggie caps to support immune function. And we all need some immune function support. And it also works really well with other oils. Uh, when you actually put frankincense over the top of another oil, it's a driver oil and sends it deeper into the skin. And it's one of those oils that they say, if in doubt, use frankincense. If there's only one oil that you can buy, make it frankincense because you can just do so many things with it. And if you do your own research on frankincense, just go to some of the PubMed journals and look at the scientific studies that are actually done on this oil, which are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay, uh, now this month in doTERRA, every December they have a promotion where you can get frankincense, a 15 ml bottle which contains 250 drops, completely free of charge. How awesome is that? <laughs> um, and so I'm very excited about that. So uh, Natalie, you introduced me to doTERRA and you explained to me some of the things that make doTERRA very different to other companies. And we have to make, uh, you know, a, a, a disclaimer really saying that, you know, we're not talking about preventing, treating, curing diseases. It's the lifestyle exactly. choices that are about that. And we need our doctors. We would never say, don't use your doctors. You need to get your... Um, you know your symptoms and broken parts diagnosed and and fixed um, but it actually your body is a healing machine 
and what we need to do is just give it the support that it needs in order to heal um, the best way. And speaking about vibration, we just know that the higher we vibrate, the happier the body is. And when we mean happy, we, the more uh, in balance and connected it is, which gives it a greater potential for healing. Yeah. So uh, you, I, I was just mind about it, this. Oh, for sure. Um, part of the one, this is one of the reasons doTERRA was created. Um, because there were a lot of oil companies out there that were producing some pure oils. But if the oils aren't tested, um, they have to have um, a high enough medicinal compounding to be effective in a human body. Now, they're just, um, if you grow great plants that are totally pure in a greenhouse, um, something happens. They don't get the stressors. And isn't this interesting? I love this. It's the stressors in our lives that make us the strongest. It's the same with the plants. The plants actually need, instead of having perfect growing conditions, they need to be in their natural growing condition so they can have the natural stressors to make them medicinally potent. And so doTERRA does that testing. That's exactly what happens. And not all oils are the same. And just because they're pure, doesn't mean that they're potent enough. And believe me, doTERRA grows oils, I mean, plant material and creates oils that never make it into our bottles because when they're tested, they aren't potent enough. Yeah, so they're using only the right volatile aromatic compounds, only the right molecules and right. potent concentration. They're very, very concentrated. Exactly. And, and this is really what makes doTERRA's oils different to other companies. I remember when I first joined doTERRA, we couldn't buy Roman chamomile for two years because although the oil was pure and it was potent, it didn't have the right chemistry. Exactly. Well, and even rose. Rose, is, it's still, because it takes so much tonnage to create one bottle. And then, as you know, aphids try because there are no pesticides. They just couldn't figure out how to get it done without the, the aphids were the, were the problem. And now, now we've got it figured so that we have it most of the time. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and, and I love the co-impact sourcing policy, which is bringing the people, the plants, and the products together. Um, do you want to just quickly explain about this one, Natalie? Yeah, you know, I would be a member of doTERRA, even if, even if this wasn't my business, I would be a member just for co-impact sourcing. What happens, uh, you're going to love this. So just like with frankincense in particular, um, they could go out and just have one person, they cut out all middlemen. Um, this is a third world country that this comes from. And they go in and they help establish lots of small mini farmers. In doTERRA, we have 92 thousand farmers that grow for us instead of just going and having one big conglomerate which you know would be easier they go and try and change people's lives they get rid of the middleman and of those 92,000 farmers there's over 520,000 people affected because that includes their families so it, it's just changing the world it is changing the world and doTERRA doesn't just go in randomly and Americanize it it is what they go in with economists, sociologists, educators, mm -hmm. the, the, whole, the, the whole spectrum, and to make sure that we are truly impacting in a, in a helpful, good way. Yeah, and the, the oils are actually sourced from over 40 different countries yeah. all over the world, and what I love about it is that they only source the crops from the countries that, that grow these crops indigenously, and this comes back to what you were saying before about it makes the hardiness of that plant, doesn't it, when it's weathered in its natural habitat. Um, and so when you take lavender that's grown in France, for example, it's got very different chemistry to lavender that's grown in the UK or in the USA. Exactly. Yeah. Well, because the soils are so different and it would take so much money to try and replicate those soils exactly. But it's really, like we said, the stressors, sometimes too much sun or too much water or whatever it is to create it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so we'll, we'll just very quickly look at how you can use essential oils in different ways. Um, the first way is aromatic diffusion, and um, when you smell an essential oil, it goes straight to the limbic part of the brain, which controls the body and tells it what to do. So it's a very, very quick way to change mood and emotion. You can always use them to um, 
open up the airways. So if you're congested, for example, you can inhale peppermint or our air blend, and it opens up the airways, and you can just feel that oil working to clear. Um, you can also cleanse the environment by diffusing oils. Uh, you can drop it on tissue, you can spray it on surfaces, you can put it in, in spray bottles, or simply take the top off the bottle and inhale. Deborah, what I love is that the because the oils are pure, the molecules are so small that they literally go out and clean the bigger air, air molecules. And this is your cheapest way for using the oils because you just three to four drops in a diffuser and the entire room benefits. And yeah. of course, we love to put them on ourselves. We love to take them internally, but this is the cheapest way that everybody in the room benefits. Exactly, because everybody's breathing in those compounds, yeah. Um, the second way is topical application. Now, when you apply an oil topically to the skin, when you use a carrier oil, we, we recommend fractionated coconut oil because this is light, it's non-greasy, they've taken out the solid particles and so you can use it uh, for many, many different purposes. It gets absorbed into the skin very, very easily and it makes the oil more effective and cheaper because you only need a little bit of oil. Typically, you're only using like one drop at a time. So because um, essential oils are volatile, if you're not using a carrier oil, it flies off into the atmosphere. So the, the carrier helps it get absorbed into the bloodstream and helps it to get absorbed uh, and carried around the bloodstream very, very quickly. And so it's great to use in massage, um, for in, immune support. If you're using with children, the safest place to apply is on the bottom of the feet so that they're not touching it. Now, what about internal use, Natalie? This is a controversial one for some people. Which I, I actually love when they have this question because this is when I can direct them to the site that doTERRA has created, aromaticscience.com. And this is just like, you know, if you're into family history and you go to a site like Family Search or Ancestry.com, those records were not created by them. They were just compiled by those companies, indexed so that they're user friendly. And that's what doTERRA did just to help us market and promote the oils to get them mainstreamed so that people can see the actual scientific research done on the oils. So if you go to AromaticScience.com and type in, can I ingest oils? So many studies have been done that said, yes, there are certain times that it is way more effective to be taking them internally. And so you can do that by dropping them under your tongue, um, by putting them in a capsule, because some, some oils that are super effective on the inside, like oregano, cinnamon, they're hot oils. And I wouldn't, people do it, but it's not my favorite. I wouldn't want <laughs> I'd rather have it in a capsule. Another thing I like to do is I like to take a little shot glass of water and drop it in and then just chug it down, especially if I have like a sore throat or something like that. But yeah, we yeah. Can, they're awesome. And we use them in cooking all the time. Yeah, I love them uh, to make salad dressings with them. I make raw chocolate, which is just awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have some of Deborah's chocolate. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but the other thing about internal use, if you have oils at home that aren't doTERRAs, don't use them internally. Oh. Uh, it's really dangerous to do so. So I just want to stress this, that we're only talking about doTERRAs oils here. And, and this is because of the testing of them. It's yeah. actually very, very dangerous to ingest oils which aren't tested because the FDA uh, say that an oil can be actually labeled as 100% pure on the bottle. But actually, Natalie, do you want to tell us how much percentage it actually needs to contain? Five percent. Five percent. I was horrified when I heard that. I know. Five percent. And the rest of it can be made up of chemicals, synthetics. So actually, when you look at the shelf life of doTERRA's oils, these have got a shelf life of five years, but they will last way beyond that, so long as you store them properly. So you replace the top, you keep them out of direct sunlight, um, you don't want them to oxidize, you don't want them to heat up. Um, but yeah, and so it's an investment in your health that will last a long, long time, so long as you treat them properly. Exactly. Uh, we've, these are our top 10 oils, which we're not going to go into today. This is really based around frankincense. Um, but, you know, we've hit, we have other educational classes based around the top 10 oils. So get back to the person who invited you to watch this, and then you can get some more education. But if you want to buy oils, 
there's two ways that you can purchase. You can either pay full retail price uh, from somebody who has a doTERRA account, or you can open up your own wholesale account. And it's only £24 membership fee, which includes... Now, if you're in the United States, it's a $35. Yeah, $35. Uh, but what this means is that you can save 25% off the retail price for a whole year. And you also get the opportunity to earn free products because you can get up to 30% of the points back when you, uh, when you order products. Um, there's enrollment kits for all budgets. This is the second way to open an account. So the first way was to pay £24 membership fee. However, if you buy one of the enrollment kits, you actually get the account for free. So that £24 or $35, you can put towards the cost of the oils rather than uh, just buying you know, one or two oils. But you've got, and you've got um, options on there. Uh, I'm just featuring one of the kits, uh, which is one of my favourites, because the Home Essentials kit contains 15 ml bottles of the top 10 oils, including frankincense, um, and it's got lavender, peppermint, melaleuca, which you'll also know as tea tree oil, oregano, or oregano, depending on where you live, lemon, <laughs> uh, air, which is the respiratory blend, zengest, which is a digestive blend, on guard, which is a protective blend to boost the immune system, and deep blue, which is a soothing blend. And I just wouldn't be without any single one of these oils. When I first bought my kit, I thought there's no way I'll use all these oils. But actually, the ones that I thought I'd use the least are the ones that I've used the most. It's really, really fun. <laughs> Well, with that, I'd just like to say that with those top 10 oils, you have 20, 80% of anything that your that your body is showing where you're out of balance any issue are covered by those top 10 mm. and with this deal this month you already get the bottle of frankincense plus another bottle of frankincense so you could have a drop every day so that your picture matches hers yeah and the other thing that you can do is if For you're a year if you're getting two bottles of frankincense, you can either keep them both to yourself or you can sell one of them at full retail price and offset that against the cost of your kit. So it's like a no-brainer. Um, but I just want to um, just tell you a little bit more about frankincense because like frankincense, as well as it being the king of oils, it's also sourced from Somalia and it's a very hazardous occupation to source this oil. And through doTERRA's co-impact sourcing policy, um, they pay a fair wage to the men who are actually sourcing this oil. And, you know, they have to live out in really arid conditions. They're living out in caves. Now, in the Boswellia trees, you've got all these poisonous vipers. And so they've got to clear the trees of the vipers, first of all, because if they get bitten, it's, that's really serious and they can die. But then they score the bark of the frankincense tree, the Boswellia tree, and then they've got to wait in the cave and then the following day they'll come with the knives and they'll score the resin off and they collect all the resin tears, which is a, a laborious job. They take it back to the village and then the women in the village sort the frankincense resin into three categories. And doTERRA gets 100% of the top quality frankincense. Mm -hmm. So we are so blessed to have access to this oil so blessed and by buying this you're also helping to support um, the farmers in in countries where they're very very poor and helping them to have a sustainable income so thank you for listening in today uh, do contact the person who invited you to watch this um, you know, we, we all have our own doTERRA businesses. So if you're already working with somebody, don't come to me or Natalie. Go to the person who invited you to attend. And um, Natalie, do you have anything else that you'd like to, um, just, to say? I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. This is, oh, this is so exciting. I, I am super, there are no words to say how grateful I am that science is finally catching up with the vibrational frequencies, um, the things that we knew ahead um, that are now being able to be proven and that the higher we vibrate, the better life decisions we make, um, the, the, we present as a higher self. And it just makes me want to get frankincense, reminds me how, I mean, I, I have frankincense in my lifelong vitality. I definitely put it on every morning, but I want to make sure that I'm getting it on me in the afternoon and maybe just a little bit before bed.
I, so thank you. Thank you, Deborah, for doing that and sharing with us. And um, we just love you. Oh, it's my absolute pleasure. And thank you for being on this journey with me. You know, one of my goals is actually to set up a network of people that are using oils for spiritual purposes because there's so many things that we can learn. Um, exactly. Yeah, and I've done some fabulous interviews with spiritual teachers. Check out the one I did with Jazz Razul. Uh, it, it is just phenomenal because he's just going into the level of detail that you will not find anywhere else. So, Deborah, will you do me a favor and will you include that link below when I post this on Wholehearted? I will. That interview so that everybody will. can watch it that would like to. Okay. Yeah, and if you can't find it, just go on to Magdalene Wellness Facebook page, have a look in the notes section, and in there you've got a link to the YouTube video. Okay, Magdalene Wellness Facebook page, everybody. Go there. Be happy. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever it is, this is the monk of happy frankincense. <laughs> Bye, Bye, everybody. Enjoy your oils. <laughs> Bye.